Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Thursday, the 2nd of January 2020 is Restoration of All Things. I told my prophet Malachi to tell you about the restoration of all things through the Elijah spirit. He will turn the hearts of the children to the fathers. Now the time has arrived for you to separate yourself from, from my heavenly kingdom and to restore my altar to its former glory. The restoration of all things. What is the restoration of all things? The return to the promised land that I created in Genesis, paradise. You will cross the Red Sea in 2020 and you will walk in unity towards my holy mountain, Mount Zion. The mountain not carved by human hands. Restoration of all things. I am calling you out of the world and Babylon so that the restoration of all things can take place and you can make a decision. A decision like the one on Mount Carmel with Elijah. Reject the ruler of this world and select the high place, my heavenly kingdom. And this was the daily prophetic word given for Thursday the 2nd of January 2020, the restoration of all things. The spirit of Elijah is here and the restoration of all things has already started. With the year 2020, we will restore the first Christian assemblies, the home churches, the people walking in wonders and miracles, the people sharing resources, supporting one another, coming together. Where two or three are coming together in my name, the Lord said, I will be also. The time of the home churches has come. Why do we have to prepare the home churches? Because great persecution is at the horizon. The Antichrist is in three to three and a half years in full power and he will control the whole world with his mark. And the false prophet will control Babylon, the false churches, the Jezebels. And we need to be separated. That's the reason why the judgment starts with the house of the Lord. And this is the judgment, the restoration of the first Christian assemblies, of the home churches, of the true church, we are the church, is the judgment towards the house of the Lord. Because all the false churches ministered by pastors and bishops with great names and huge buildings and a lot of money misused and all this one will be judged. And it is not about that. It is all about the heavenly kingdom. It is all about walking with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as a true bride. It is not about buildings. It is not about power, lust, or whatever they, they claim to be, or worldly honors or anything. It is just about the heavenly kingdom. It is about paradise. It's all about paradise. We are returning to paradise. But only if we walk the narrow and righteous path. And if you are in the Babylon, in the full churches, you will not walk the narrow and righteous path. You will be deceived. That's the time, reason why there will be a judgment on the house of the Lord first. And the end result will be a restoration of the first Christian assemblies. The end result will be home churches all over the place. People have seen the falsehood of the, the, the human churches, the institutional churches. All this will go. Jesus is not about religion. He is not about denominations. He is not about what you believe as a human. He is about the love of the Father. He always said, the Father sent me and I show his love to the people. It's all about that. It's about the heavenly kingdom and about paradise. It's about the restoration of all things. And the end result will be that we will all be in paradise again, as it was in the beginning. I have made another video in the Great Exodus series with an image PDF about how it started with Genesis and paradise and how it will end. The end of the end times, so to speak how it will be, and it will end again in paradise. All will happen again. I call it back to the future. Everything what was there before will come again. There is nothing new under the sun, but vice versa. You may want to check it out. As for the restoration of all things, we know from Malachi that Elijah must come first. Jesus also said that. He said John the Baptist was a pattern 
but Elijah must come first to restore all things, and all this will be done. And we are already in the process, and from 2020, the home churches will be built. And then, in the next three, three and a half years, one man with a lot of power will come up to rule this world. And we have to be ready. We have to be separated. We have to stand outside of the world and outside of Babylon, because this is his area of influence. And we have to separate ourselves. As the Lord said, it's a time now for the separation of the goats and the sheep. This is the timing right now. So walk with us that narrow and righteous path towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion, where we will be raptured at the sixth seal into paradise. For us, we go early, because we are walking with him wherever he goes, and we are listening to his commandments. Praise the Lord, pray to him daily, talk to him daily. Make it a habit that you talk to Jesus over all your problems and all your concerns and he will send you wisdom through dreams and visions, through epiphanies, through people that will suddenly appear to you and help you in your ways. He is there to assist you in all, but you have to go to him, knock at his door and say, I need help and Jesus will help you. I hope you like this daily prophetic word and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.